Hello everybody, it's Matt here, and today I thought we would have a look at how to get X VVS tokens through VVS Finance on the Kronos chain. So before we jump into that, I just need to say uh, this is not financial advice whatsoever. This video is purely for your entertainment. You should do all of your own research and definitely don't invest anything that you can't afford to lose. Now, jump into the Crypto.com DeFi wallet app with me, and we'll go through this process. If you don't have a DeFi wallet set up yet, check out the video up the top there, and that'll take you through the process of how to set up the Crypto.com DeFi wallet. If you don't have a Crypto.com account yet, which you don't actually need in order to use the DeFi wallet, but it is helpful, particularly for getting CRO onto the DeFi wallet in the first place, check out the links down in the description for a sign up bonus when you meet the staking requirements, and check out the video up there for how to actually stake a CRO to get that sign up bonus. Now jump into the Crypto.com DeFi wallet app with me and let's have a look at this. Now I'm assuming you've already got some VVS on the Kronos chain. You need to have both CRO and VVS on your Kronos wallet. You need CRO to pay the network fees and you need the VVS in order to stake for X VVS. So you want to make sure you've got that in your wallet balance already. If not, the easiest way to get it there is to buy it on the Crypto.com app and then withdraw it to your Kronos DeFi wallet. So if you don't have it, Head over to the crypto.com app, buy some, let's throw it over here. So from the wallet dashboard, we'll click the browser button to pull up the DeFi browser, and then we'll click on the VBS Finance app. Now usually it's near the top of the popular tab, you can also get to it under that Kronos DApps tab, or of course you can search for it. So VBS Finance, go to that one, that'll pull up the VBS Finance app website. If you've been here before, which you may well have been if you're doing this, It'll probably remember your wallet connection. If it doesn't, up the top there where it's got that little profile icon, you'll want to connect. So if I disconnect from here, it's now saying connect wallet. So we'll tap that connect wallet button. We'll choose crypto.com DeFi wallet and it should straight away connect up. You may need to give it permission depending on your settings and we're connected. It's pulled in all of my current deposits and so on through the VVS app. So you should be able to see any of yours there as well. So we want to get XVBS, right? So to do that, we're going to go to the Earn option and choose XVBS. So that's the Earn button, second from the left down in that menu, and then XVBS down the bottom. So to get XVBS, we have to stake VBS. And we can then use that XVBS in the vaults or in the glitter mines. So for example, under mines, you might want XVVS to stake under mines. So for example, here, you can stake XVS in the glitter mine to earn the FER or FER tokens, or to earn single, or to earn Argo, for example. And so these are all single deposits, so one token in, paying a yield in a different token. And so that's all under the glitter mines. Also under XVVS, you can stake them in a vault for a locked period of time. Now, to start with, when you do stake VBS for XVBS, you get a return anyway. Right now, the average over the last seven days has been 82%. So it's earned directly on your XVBS. And if you stake that XVBS in a vault, that actually increases the APR again, but it's locked in the vault for a set period of time. And that period of time is up to you. So right now we can see here, I've already got a couple of dollars in in XVVS here. If you haven't done this before, that enabled button that I've got there, it'll be blue and it'll say enable, and you would have seen it just before anyway, while it was loading this screen, showing that way. So you'll click that first and it'll ask you to do the network confirmation. There will be a CRO fee involved in that. Once you've done that, it'll then look like this and we'll have that stake VVS option. So we'll click stake VVS. Then we're choosing how much VVS we want to essentially convert or stake or locked in as X VVS. I'm gonna do all of mine, so max, and we can just click that max button to quickly do that. If you wanna do half of it or a quarter or three quarters, you've got those quick buttons there for 25%, 50, 75 and so on as well. So I'm, as I said, I'm just gonna do the max. It's confirming, confirming there what the uh, X VVS rate is in VVS and of course, how much XVVS we will get in return for that VVS and what our current API is. So we'll press that confirm button. It'll again, give us that summary info and it's just confirming that we are staking VVS for XVVS. It's also confirming that XVVS is not tradable, but its value increases because the longer that you've held it, 
the more VBS you're entitled to claim back from it when you convert it back to VBS in the future. So that's essentially how it earns a return. You don't get a direct payout in VBS. It over time appreciates in value against VBS, so you get more VBS back. So it's a little bit different to other methods of staking and earning a return in DeFi. So once we're happy with that, we want to click that blue confirm button and it'll then go to a network confirmation, which is where we need to pay another CRO fee. So again, you need to have CRO in order to do this. We'll click that blue confirm button and then away we go. That's then going to the Kronos chain to be processed. It'll take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes usually. Sometimes it's very fast and it takes a little bit longer. And there we go, it's just confirmed. I've staked VBS for X VBS. So as I mentioned, you can now lock that in a vault or you can stake it in a glitter mine. However you want to use that is up to you. But at the end of the day, when you want to claim your earnings, you have to unstake it from here. Uh, so if it's locked in a vault or in a glitter mine, you're not going to get your earnings out that way. I like to look at it as a way of earning a return on something while also earning a return on it in a, some other way. So you're kind of getting a double return on your tokens this way, which is kind of cool. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, make sure you like it and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this from me. And if you've got any questions about this or any other particular uh, crypto.com.org, uh, Kronos related DeFi topics, planning on doing a whole bunch more of these videos. So make sure you are subscribed to get those. And if there's anything you specifically would like to learn more about, let me know down in those comments and that'll inform which videos I do next. That's it for me for now. Have an awesome day and I'll catch you next time. Bye.